Hello. Hello, viewer, whoever you are. If you want to chat, you can just click over there and tell me who's watching right now and who's joining me for yoga tonight. Um, tonight, if you'd like to grab a block, um, last, or I guess it wasn't last night, it was Tuesday night, we had a blanket. Um, and maybe like a few pillows would be really nice to have tonight. And I'll, I'll say that again um, before we get started so everyone knows. Hi, Lucy. Yay. <laughs> um, I'm going to finish grabbing some of my props. Hello, everyone tuning in. So, um, blanket. Block, pillow, anything else that floats your boat, maybe some water. Lucy, how's the weather in California right now? Hi, Paul. Thanks for being here. Also, Lucy, I got your text today. I just forgot to respond because I was at work. Um, oh, look, Henry wants out. So sorry, no kitty time. Very Sunday and warm. That's how today was here. I unfortunately had to work um, part of the day, but I was just outside in the hammock because it's so beautiful. I'm glad that the weather's nice out there. Apparently, we're supposed to get a cold front here like tonight and tomorrow, so that's really a bummer. We'll hold off. Oh. Well, I hope everyone had a nice day today. I hope everyone's doing all right and staying indoors at least as much as is healthy. I feel like today is a really nice day for a walk. I noticed a few days ago, um, like walking over like in the east part of town, that it was like there was a lot more people out walking in that part of town instead of like Obviously, there's no restaurants or stores open really downtown, so I think it's really nice. Everyone's actually like, getting out and enjoying the neighborhoods and walking. All right, we'll hold off for just a few more minutes, and then we'll get started. Anybody do anything fun today? That you want to hear? Is anyone finding like neat projects to work on or like restarting projects maybe you had previously that you haven't like had time or the space to be part of? I'm really curious. I have done a little bit of painting in the last couple of weeks when I've been unemployed. Um, I'm kind of bummed now that I don't have. Jumped on the trampoline, that sounds amazing. <laughs> Sometimes I miss having a trampoline. There were some college kids here when I was in college um, that had a trampoline and the violin. Are you very good at playing? Like, no, not, okay, I didn't mean it like that. Um, have you practiced violin previously? Or are you just like learning now? I've been meaning to pick up my guitar again and practice. Um, while you are perhaps responding. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up Spotify. Oh yeah, that's a long time. Eight years is a long time to have played good, uh, violin. That's really impressive actually. I very briefly played violin, but I think it's beautiful. Good for you, that's really fun. Um, okay, so on Spotify, while I'm thinking of it, um, I am going to use the atmospheric you, you can't see that. I'm going to use the Atmospheric Calm playlist, um, and it is a Spotify playlist. So if you just type out Atmospheric atmospheric Calm, just choose this top one. It's kind of like a purple mountainy um, picture. And that 
is the one pilot on the trampoline. That's really good. I appreciate this conversation right now. Oh man, that'd be awesome. Um, Henry's trying to get back into the room, but we're not going to let him back in. I'm going to go ahead and start my playlist. And if anyone else joins us, that's awesome. They can just join in whenever. You know how we are. Nice and relaxed. It's like very relaxed. So um, everyone can just move at their own speed. Join us when they're ready. We'll have a really good time all together. So if you didn't hear me um, at the beginning of the video, I've got a pillow for a prop here. We'll use this at the end. Um, I've got a rolled up blanket, so it's nothing too big. I have it rolled pretty small comparatively to my torso. I'm a small person, but just a little size comparison. Um, and then a block. And if you do not have a block, you don't need one. It's okay. It's just here in case you'd like a little bit of extra support. Um, and in class at the gym, when we normally use a block today, you can use a blanket or pillow instead, and it'll be just a little bit softer, a um, little bit more cozy, and it'll still open up that space for you. So if you've got music going in your own space, awesome. Just enjoy a little bit of calm and quiet. So you can go ahead and start to deepen the breath into your belly and out through your mouth or your nose and just kind of roll around a little bit here. Side to side and forward and back. You can take a little roll through your spine, maybe leaning back into the spine and then dropping the chest forward, rolling through. Maybe taking a few circles like that if you like it. Like a little round motion in the torso, rolling back and then rolling forward. And then go ahead and take it back the other way. Just take it as long as it feels nice. If you want to kind of get the shoulders into it too, that might feel good. And then we'll come back to the center. Finding a relative place of stillness. Tuning into the breath again here. Deep inhales through the nose and long exhales out through the mouth. Just a few rounds of that big inhale. Full easy exhale. Just taking your time with this. If you find you'd like a little bit of a lift to the spine, you can go ahead and take your blanket here and we'll just put a few folds into it and just bring it right up underneath the hips. You've got just a little bit of a lift here. Feels really nice. Hands can just rest really nice and gently on the legs. And if you'd like to join me in a little bit of alternate nostril breathing, we'll do a little bit of balancing with both sides of our bodies. Right now, especially with anxiety and tensions being kind of high, this is a really nice um, breathing exercise. So we'll extend the thumb and the ring finger. You can keep the other fingers kind of tucked down. And we'll close off one side of the nose, take a big inhale through the other side. Close it off the top of the inhale, hold it, and then release the ring finger and exhale out. Once you get to the bottom of the exhale, inhale right back up on the ring finger side. Close it off at the top and hold, and then release the thumb and side all the way out. Let's take a few rounds of this. Inhaling in, holding at the top, then releasing out the other side. It feels nice to you. As you go along, you can count as well. So you can take an inhale for four counts, hold it at the top for two counts, and then exhale for four counts. Inhale back for four counts, hold it, and then exhale. Just take a few more rounds in your own time. Start to feel the shoulders releasing. Feel the hips softening, the knees releasing. Mm -hmm. 
And when you've had enough, just rest your hands back down on your lap or at your side. Just a few more breaths. If you're not already taking time out of your day to do a little bit of breathing, I'll provide the space for you three nights a week, but really give it a go the rest of the day, especially if tensions start to rise, anxiety starts to rise. Your next big inhale will float the arms out to the side, reach all the way up overhead. And then exhale, bring the thumbs together to plug back into your heartbeat. Take a big inhale and fill up here. Exhale. Sigh it all the way out. Another big inhale floats you up. Exhale. Softens you back in. Just one more round of that big inhale. And exhale. Soften your hands back down to your lap. Just another moment. It's never bad to take a little bit more stillness, a little bit more softness. When you're ready, we're just going to very gently lean toward this left leg. And we're just going to extend this right leg out to the side. So if you have that blanket, you can go ahead and move that out from underneath your booty. If it feels nice to you, as you bring this right or left leg in, extend this right leg out, you can bring this blanket right up underneath that leg. So you can drop this hand down inside, take a big inhale up through the left arm, and then exhale, soften over just as much as feels nice. Maybe the side body is really tight, and it feels a little bit better to come up a bit higher. That's perfectly fine. Just use your big inhales to lift you up a little bit more, and your exhales to sink you in a little bit. If ever this doesn't feel like you've got enough room, you can bring the hand back behind instead. Just finding space in your own body, rolling around a little bit here. Take a big inhale, reach up through both fingertips, and then take a little twist over this left knee, right fingertips behind, or left fingertips behind, sitting up really tall. Just look over your shoulder, nice exhale. Take another round of this, big inhale to lift. And exhale, twist over. Come back through the middle. Just gonna square the chest off over this right leg and crawl the self right up and over so your belly can lay on your thigh, the crown of the head can drop forward. Maybe you can take a little twist if that feels nice in your back and hamstring. And if this isn't enough on your hamstring, go ahead and just move that blanket, move that support out from underneath and bring yourself forward. So today, really take your time, just sit with it for a few moments. Let yourself really rest and relax. Breathe really deeply so you can continue to tap into that relaxation response. You're ready to crawl up from this one. We'll just roll it right back up. We'll lean away from this leg and then just switch out the other leg. You can always take your time. You might even lean away for a moment and then drop the right arm inside, left arm inside, excuse me, reach up the right arm. Maybe a little bit of a topple over feels nice or maybe you need a little bit more space on this side. Just take what works for you. Opposite hand away. Use a nice little bit of um, opposition here for that extra twist. And take a really big inhale, fill up on this one. And take a twist over this knee, left fingertips fine, or right fingertips fine. This time I'm mirroring, aren't I? Sit up very tall and look over your right shoulder. Take another breath here, big breath fills you up. Exhale, twist around. We'll come back up and over this left leg, just crawling the belly to rest on the thigh, letting the crown of the head fall forward. And if it feels nice to stay here, you may, if you want to move that support out of the way or get yourself a little bit more support, that's perfect.
this is, is nobody sees what you're doing. You can do whatever you want. You can take a break with the video and come back later, whatever really works for you. You can do it in your pajamas, that's fun too. <laughs> And then when you're ready, we'll go ahead and press up from this one. We'll lean back into the hips a whole lot. And just send this right leg out to the side as well. Let's get nice and cozy. We'll give ourselves a little scooch forward if you'd like. Walk your fingertips behind your hips and open up through your chest. Nice little sway here. Head can fall back. If you want a little bit more room, press into your fingertips. Lift your hips up off the ground. And drop the hips and we'll start to just send this one forward, nice little forward fold. If you find you're really tight here in the thighs, you can just stay leaned back into the hands. This is perfect. Or you can just start to press into the fingertips, leading with the chest and finding a little bit of a stretch here. Nice long neck. So you've got a long back. And if you start to come forward, maybe it feels nice to use your block. You can stack up a blanket on top. Maybe rest the head. Just finding a place to really relax and breathe a little bit more so these muscles can start to relax out a little bit more too. And kind of roll the muscles back so the toes are kind of working back toward the back of the room. Hmm. Just breathe in wherever you're at. If you start to get tired of staying in one spot, you can go ahead and crawl it around, maybe crawling around the right leg. If the belly ever gets in the way a little bit here, you can just kind of displace the belly as you crawl things around. It's very natural, you have a body. And it's okay if not everything um, works into what looks like a yoga pose, just as long as you're getting a really nice stretch and it's feeling good and it feels relaxing. That's really what we're going for. So take another couple rounds of breath. Nice little bit of length here. And when you're ready, we'll press into the hands nice and firmly to crawl ourselves right back up. Bring the hands behind the knees. We're going to send the feet right out in front for a nice little forward fold. So this is one where I like to use a block behind my knees as well. And I'm going to, or actually I'll show you how to use a, a pillow here. So you can bring a little pillow and kind of smush it up underneath your knees. My hamstrings have been really tight today, so I'm going to give myself a lot of support. So we'll start here by leaning back into the hands, opening up through the chest. Then match your belly to your thighs. Let the crown of the head fall forward. Maybe you can grab for the toes or just let the arms rest by the legs. Get a nice little stretch here, long neck. If the spine or the muscles around the spine are feeling really tight, you can crawl it one way or another way. Maybe just soften in here. If you ever need more, you can go ahead and scooch the legs out a little bit longer, moving the support out of the way. If you wanna make this even more easy going, you can grab your blanket or your pillow. Um, and just rest it here on the knees so the head can rest. We're just going to breathe with this for a few moments. Ready to press into your hands or crawl ourselves back up from this one. Lean back into your hips so you can bring the knees a little bit closer to the body. Go ahead and these props out of the way again. We're gonna come around to all fours. Just knees working over to one side, feet over to one side. We're gonna find a little forward fold at the top of the mat. 
Maybe just sway a little bit side to side. You can step your feet a little bit wider. Rocking it around, nice heavy neck. Maybe crawl your fingertips over to one side for a twist. Big breath. And then taking it over to the other side for a twist. Another big breath. And then we'll roll it up to stand. Keep your chin into your chest. Take your arms up to the top when you get there. Big breath in. And then exhale. Soften your arms by your side. So take a big inhale. Reach up. Exhale. Fold back up and over your legs. Shift. Dropping your heels down toward the mat. Maybe you can shift a bit side to side or pedal into the right hand and the left heel. And switch up the other side. Just have a little bit of fun, rolling it around a little bit here. Take a big inhale, lift up onto your tippy toes. And then exhale, soften your heels back. Do another round of that big breath up. Exhale, soften down. One more big round, inhale in. Exhale, dropping your heels, tuck your chin to your chest, rolling out toward a plank pose, drop your knees, drop your hips, but keep a big bend in the elbows. We're gonna come all the way down to the belly in the chest. You can just rest here for a moment. Maybe the arms lay by the sides. We're really keeping it easy today. You can give a little wiggle to your hips, kind of shaking your boot, booty a bit side to side. Then we'll bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Just open up to a little baby cobra. Barely lifting, nice long neck. And then exhale, soften back down. We'll interlace the fingertips behind the tailbone. Press your fingertips back, roll your shoulder blades together and open up here. Nice little easy sway. And then exhale, soften down. Just one more round, whatever you like, either fingertips interlaced or pressing your hands down and opening up for just another small cobra. No strain on the lower back here. Then drop it right back down. We'll shift it back to a nice little child's pose. Hips coming right back to the heels. You can keep your knees narrow as they are, um, as I'm doing, or you can take your knees really nice and wide. We'll crawl the belly forward, chest forward and just soften down inside of the thighs if you like that. Also from here, you can crawl the fingertips over to one side of the mat, getting an extra stretch, extra breath. And maybe trying the other side. We'll come right back through the middle. Come around over to all fours, just knees underneath the shoulder, or knees underneath the hips, wrists underneath the shoulder. You can take a little rock side to side or roll around in the hips. You can take your cat cow if that feels nice. Just rolling through the belly and the spine. Having a little bit of fun with this. Basically just getting really cozy in your own body. Then when you're ready, we'll send the hands about one handprint in front, tuck the toes, lift your hips back to your down dog. And soften your heels again. Let's take a walk up to the top of the mat, leaning to the right, unweight the left side of the body, then lean to the left and unweight the right side. Nice little bear crawl up to the top, then just folding back up and over. Nice little rock forward and back, especially if the hamstrings are tight. You can just send a little bit of weight forward and rock forward, come right back. We'll roll this up to stand again. Nice little bend in your knees if you need it for the hamstrings. Inhale, fill all the way up. Exhale, come over your legs. We'll lean toward the right leg and just slide this left leg all the way back to a nice little runner stretch once again. You can drop this back knee when you're ready. Stay really low here. If you want to crawl open through your chest, maybe pressing into the knee and opening up, that's really wonderful. But if it feels better to stay low today, just stay really nice and low. I'm not trying to prove anything, not even to ourselves. <laughs> we don't have anything we need to prove. You're here, you're doing your work right now. So just explore things for yourself. 
Maybe shift a bit side to side in the hips. Maybe rocking that left hip forward and back. Single arm weight into the hands. Tuck the left toes. Shift your hips back to a runner stretch. The belly can come toward this thigh. So you can put a big bend in this knee if that feels nice. Or you can really shift the hips back. Maybe working this toe in slightly. And let the hip rest on that heel. So really whatever version of this feels nice for you. Coming inside or taking a twist. When you're ready, we'll crawl this one forward, shifting your weight over this right leg, lift your hips up and over, and share a little bit of weight with your hands here as well. So if the hands don't touch the ground, put a big bend into the knees. If you do have blocks, you can share a little bit of weight uh, with the hands on the blocks here. And just take a little roll through the hips, let your head be heavy, let your neck be long. A little bit of a roll here. You can walk your hands inside the legs or walk your hands outside. We'll go ahead and come down toward a low lunge. Drop this left knee. Lean to the left to send this right leg all the way back to all fours. Nice and easy going. You can take another little roll in your back, belly, spine, hips, whatever it's really working with. And then we'll take another big inhale to lift from the tailbone. Keep the belly in toward the spine, even in your down dog to support your lower back. Then we'll take another walk up to the top of the mat. Nice little sway here side to side, folding up and over your legs at the top. I'm just gonna wrap a hairband. When you get to the top, take a nice little forward fold here. Maybe roll it around side to side. Maybe walk around one foot again. If this is nice in the hamstrings, you can always bring a nice gentle touch to the back of the legs. Maybe try the other side. If you'd like to, you can bring opposite hands to opposite ankles and get this nice little stretch here in the back and the hamstrings and the hips. And then when you're ready, we'll roll this up to the top again. Arms reach right up overhead. And exhale. Fold over your legs. This time we'll lean toward the left leg and we'll step this right leg all the way back. So keep a nice little low lunge happening here. Drop this back knee just when you're ready for it. So just open up this space really gently and safely and carefully. And you can keep hands, I'm gonna show you, you can keep hands around this left leg if this feels nice for you. If it feels a little bit better to crawl inside and open up a little bit more space, you can go for that. If this knee wants to kind of drop out to the side or wants to come over the toes, just adjust it so knee is over the ankle. We're nice and stacked up here. It's just continuing to explore. You can always open it up more if you'd like. Keep the lower belly in. We'll move it back to a runner stretch when you're ready, tucking the back toes. Start to shift the hips back. Maybe dropping inside, rolling around, whatever version really works for you. And again, just bring a little gentle touch. So it's nothing too crazy, but bringing a little touch here just kind of encourages the muscles to soften and relax a little bit. Stay here as long as you'd like. Then we'll crawl forward over the left toes, lift your hips right up and over to your pyramid pose on this side. And share a little bit of weight. It means you can rock forward, you can rock back until you find the spot that really works for you in your hamstrings, in your neck, in your shoulders. So we're not holding too much tension in the shoulders with the hands on the ground. We're just sharing the weight. You can crawl inside if you'd like. Or crawl to the outside. And when you're ready, we'll drop the fingertips, drop the right knee, and swing this left leg all the way back around. Take another roll around in your belly and your hips. Then we'll walk the knees back. We'll drop the hips down toward the ground. Open up to a little upward facing dog, or just keep it in this very small cobra. Dropping the chest down if you need it. Maybe press down, keep your belly into your spine as you lift up a bit higher. 
And then we'll come back through to another child's pose. Very gentle, very soft. So from here, we're going to lift up. Just slide this left arm underneath the right arm. You've got a few options in the hips. So if it feels nicer to keep the hips back toward the heels, this will keep us a very gentle stretch in the shoulder. If you want a little bit more in the shoulder, we'll walk the hips over the knees or somewhere near there. And you'll get a little bit more of a stretch in the upper back. You can roll here a bit side to side. You can adjust this. Rock in the hips. Just get it to where it feels really nice. You're getting a stretch, but it's nothing too extreme. Keep your breath going. If you want a little bit more effort here, you can take this right arm up overhead. You can even rip, uh, wrap it around for a little bit of a bind here. Wherever you're at, we'll go ahead and bring this right hand back next to the face. Press into your hands. And just slide this back to another child's pose. Just resting here for a moment. And we'll lift the hips up again. We'll just try the other side. And I am going to do it with my back to you so you can see how the back looks here. So once again, left hand can stay next to the Or maybe start to extend that left hand overhead. We're still keeping the belly into the spine here as well. Not dumping out the belly. You can shift around. If it's not feeling so great on your back, just shift your hips back a bit. This is still a good twist even right here. And when you're ready, we'll bring the hands forward once again. Just rest in your child's pose. And if you'd like to, you can even bring the hands all the way back by the legs. This really allows the upper back to soften out. When you're ready, we'll go ahead and crawl the hands forward. Come back into a down dog, however you like it. Rolling through all the bike. Take another walk up to the top of the mat. Walk your hands with your feet. Rolling up and over when you get there. From here, we're going to go ahead and drop the right fingertips between the feet. Inhale, open to the left arm. Nice little bend in the knee. And then exhale, come through the middle. It's time switching out, inhaling to open up. And exhaling right back through. Roll up to stand at the top of your mat. Arms, just take your breath right up in your head. And then exhale, fold over your legs. So we're going to shift toward this right foot again. We're going to set this left foot back for a little bit of a low lunge. So press down, inhale up to a high lunge. Then exhale, just settle in. Take another big breath to open up. Drop the left fingertips inside the right foot. Lean over for a big twist. Then we'll go ahead and ground this left heel. Bring this right elbow to the right knee and roll this left arm overhead. So we're in an extended side angle. I'm going to turn sideways now. Nice little extended side angle. Take a big inhale. Reach back through your left fingertips. Fill it. And then exhale out to a warrior two. Take a big breath. Fill up to the top. Exhale all the way out. Inhale, just tip down your back leg to reverse. We'll slide this forward to a triangle, shifting the hips back, sliding your right hand down toward the shin or the ankle. Big breaths here. And then drop the fingertips down here around this right foot. Drop the left knee. And we'll come back to all fours once again. Maybe shift the hips. Shift the knees back a bit so we're opening to an upper facing dog or a cobra. Keeping it real soft in the lower back if you need to. Inhale, open up just a bit. Come back through a child's pose, resting here again. Then we'll move back to a down dog when you're ready for it. Take another walk back up to the top of the mat. Folding right up and over. <sighs> Soften it. Roll yourself back up to stand at the top. Big breath comes up. 
Exhale, fold over your legs. This time shifting towards your left foot. Set your right foot back to a low lunge. So press down, take it up to a high lunge. Exhale, sink back in. One more big breath. Takes you all the way up to the top. Then we'll drop the left fingertips, the right fingertips, excuse me, lean on over, rolling up into the left hand. And then we'll shift over, ground this back heel, bring the left elbow to the left knee, and send this right arm all the way overhead. Reach back through your left hand, inhale, or in right hand, fill up. Exhale out, warrior two. Inhale, fill back up to the top. Exhale, sink in. Tip down your back leg. And then we'll come forward to a triangle pose. Nice little straight leg, nice little shift back in the hips. Rolling up through the right arm. This time we'll just come right down inside the foot. Drop the back knee. Coming back around to all fours. So again, move through whatever feels nice in your back. It's not going to look like mine, probably. Just finding what feels good. Shifting the knees and hips back when you're ready, coming down to the ground. If the lower back is feeling very sore today, we'll just bring the elbows underneath the shoulders and come to a sphinx pose. Just breathing here, maybe bring the shoulders back, breathe the chest through. Roll in your neck if you'd like. And then we'll come back down to the mat. Let's just rest here for a moment, making a pillow with your hands underneath your head. Coming back to your breath. When you're ready, we'll plant the palms, shift back to a child's pose. And then coming back forward, maybe through all fours, maybe just tucking your toes and lifting back to a down dog, just taking whatever works for you. And pedaling it out once again. This time we're going to lean toward the left leg with the right leg float all the way open. We're going to set this right foot up in between the hands to a low lunge. So this time we're going to ground the back heel and instead of rolling out to a warrior two, we're going to keep the chest forward, just coming right up and over this right leg to roll around in your warrior one. Take a big breath, lift up to the top. Exhale, drop your fingertips behind your tailbone. Inhale, roll back, opening up through your chest, belly in. Then bring your right shoulder toward this right knee, fingertips dropping overhead. Lean back, reach back through your fingertips, opening up. And then one more exhale, all the way over. Fingertips just reaching overhead. We'll drop the hands down, bringing hands inside this right foot. Heel toe your right foot all the way over to the edge of the mat. So we're at this really nice wide angle in the legs, right like here. So we're going to get into our little lizard pose, as we call it. You can stay down really low. You can drop your elbows, or if it feels nicer to use a block here, we'll just bring the elbows underneath the shoulders on a block. Just take a few moments to roll through whatever feels really nice. I'm gonna catch this back foot and open up. You feel good. Mm. You wanna just soften the forehead down to rest here. That's wonderful too. Just a few more breaths and whatever you like. And then we're going to just very gently heel toe the right foot over toward the left edge of the mat and sink back to the hips to open up to a 90 degree angle in both knees. So we've got this nice little open 90 90 here. You can rock a bit forward and back in the hips. Maybe this hip is feeling really tight like mine is today. You can just give it a little bit of a massage in that hip crease. If you'd like to go ahead and crawl over this right leg, this might be enough of a stretch in that right hip for you. If you've got a bit more room, you can start to send this back leg out a little bit. If that's still, you know, not quite enough, then we'll just square the hips off and start to come forward. So you can use a blanket, once again, underneath your right hip, if you'd like that. 
might open up just a little bit more space. So it feels better just to lean off toward the right hip than absolutely do that. We just want to protect this right knee. So just find what works for you. You keep this right foot really flexed and that'll help protect that knee as well. Just breathe into this for a few moments. Let your shoulders relax as they're starting to tighten up here. Go ahead and crawl up from this one. Nice big inhale. Go ahead and swing off toward this right hip. This left leg is gonna come around on top. So I'm not mirroring you on this side. Just this left leg comes around on top. So if this is a lot, a lot happening here, just send this leg over. You can just kind of hug this knee in here and you're still gonna feel that stretch outside that left hip. It feels nice, so you've got this stack going. You wanna bring a little blanket underneath. I'm kind of bringing it underneath this area of my thigh. That helps support a little bit more here. So I can lean back to open up. And then as I exhale, I can start to come forward through the chest a little bit more, letting the head and neck be really long. Maybe it feels nice to come over to one side or come through the middle, just rolling through what you really like, adjusting your props, your blankets, blocks, pillows, wherever you need them. Go ahead and roll up from this one. I'm going to take hands around the bottom of this left foot. You can kind of just hug this knee in toward this leg in toward your chest a little bit if you like this. Gives you a little bit more of a stretch outside this thigh. And we'll bring fingers interlaced around this left foot. Take a big inhale, press the left foot forward and take a nice little stretch here through the bottom of the leg. Sitting up as tall as you can. Maybe a little rock side to side. If you want to bring the left hand out or right hand outside the left foot, maybe bring the left fingertips behind and press forward for a twist. We'll hug this left leg back in. We're just going to unwind this. Send the left leg long behind. Bring yourself all the way around to all fours and we'll work back into a down dog. Just getting there however it feels really nice to you. This time walk your hands back toward your feet at the back of the mat, folding the belly over the thighs, letting the head hang heavy. Roll yourself up to stand when you're ready at the top, arms reach all the way up. And exhale, come over the legs. I'm going to bring the backs of the palms to the ground. So palms are going to be up underneath the bottoms of the feet. I'm going to work toes up toward the inside of the wrists. And just take a little sway here side to side. Again, a big bend in the knees is really great. Release your hands when you're ready. And we'll walk this back out to a down dog. And then walk it back up to the top of your mat. Once you get there, fold over your legs, rolling it up to stand when you're ready. Arms reach right up at the top. Exhale, come over the legs. We'll lean toward this left leg, set this right foot back. Press down, you all up to a nice little warrior one. You can roll through your hips here if you'd like. Squaring the hips back off to the front. Take a big inhale, lift up. Exhale. Fingertips behind your tailbone. Press back and roll up into your chest. Then we'll bring left shoulder toward the left knee. Maybe the arms come overhead again. Nice big breaths. Oh, if you start to lose balance, it's okay. Just bring that fingertip down. Then we'll 
keep the belly in toward the uh, spine as you inhale, roll open again. Exhale, coming right back inside this leg. So if this balance is ever too much for you, just bring the hands down instead. Then we'll bring both hands inside the left foot, heel toeing over towards your lizard pose, dropping your back knee when you're ready. And taking the version that works for you on this side. Roll through whatever feels nice. Maybe that's not so nice. You can go up a little bit higher, maybe. Stay here as long as you'd like, just working into your pigeon pose when you're ready for it. Heel towing the left foot over to the right side of the mat this time. Dropping toward the left hip. Maybe rolling back to take the 90-90 and get a little massage into this hip again. Continue your big breaths. And we'll start to work over this left leg when you're ready for it. Just as much as it feels good. So I'm gonna stay really leaned back into my left hip on this side. I'm gonna grab my blanket again. At home yoga is where it's at. This is where I started <laughs> doing yoga. Just at home on YouTube. So it's really nice to kind of come full circle and I'll be making videos with you all doing this. It's really beautiful in its own way. So breathe if you want a little bit of a shake, a bit side to side, a little roll around. Just take whatever makes you feel really nice here. Breathe deep into your belly, into your back, into your hips. You want to press up and catch the back foot you may. Just take whatever gets you that really nice stretch on the outside of that left hip. Then when you're ready, we're going to roll off toward the left hip. And we're going to swing this right leg all the way up and around. So right ankle on top of the left knee this time. And this time, if you want to use a little bit of support again, just use it underneath that thigh. Lean back to open up first and start to take a little crawl forward over the legs just as much as it feels cozy. Rock a bit side to side in the neck and the shoulders. Come back through the middle, walk it up from here, this time leaning back into the hips, you can catch this foot, and you can just stay nice and lifted, you don't have to go very far, this could be it, and we'll start to interlace the fingertips around the bottom of the right foot, start to press it forward, you can have a really big bend in this knee, maybe this is as far as you go, maybe you can start to extend out a little bit longer, and take a little rock side to side. And breathe your chest through your shoulders, get a little bit more of a lift. I'll kind of show you what the side looks like from here. Feeling a little bit inflexible today, so you just go with whatever feels nice. Give yourself another big breath. And we'll bring this leg right back in. Send it back around through your 90 90, and then come back around to all fours. Moving gently once again. We'll come right back into one more down dog, tucking the toes, lifting the hips, maybe pedaling through the heels. And we'll take another walk up to the top of the mat. Nice and gentle, however it works for you. Folding up and over. 
Rolling up to stand just one last time, really savoring each roll up the spine and arms reach up overhead. And exhale, come inside the legs, heel toe your feet out to the edges of your mat, and drop them to a squat. Then from here, we'll bring hands back behind the hips. I'm gonna take one more forward fold. So we're gonna take just a nice, easy little cobbler's pose. Bring the bottoms of the feet together. You give yourself a little foot massage. You deserve a foot massage. Give it to yourself. You can take it out to the toes. If you remember any of the chakra points on the bottoms of the feet that we've learned previously, you can go ahead and give yourself a little massage there. Especially with our uh, needing a little bit more grounding energy right now, I'll kind of show you where the root chakra pressure point is. So on the bottom of your foot, I'm gonna come right here just above the heel on the inside, kind of inside the arch as well. And you can give yourself just a nice gentle little massage here right in that spot. It's a really nice spot to kind of ease into that grounding energy. Helps open the root chakra and ground a little bit more. If you'd like to open up from this one, then take a big inhale. Maybe crawl it forward just a bit, dropping the elbows and then the head fall forward. And press onto the knees a little bit. Need a little bit more hip stretch here. This can look however it looks. It doesn't have to look any sort of way. So just getting cozy. Crawl up from this one. Lean back into your hips to close the knees up. And then come all the way down to the back. Woohoo! So now's a good time to make sure you've got your block, pillows, blankets, whatever you like, nice and close. And just hug the knees into the chest as you go down so we keep it nice and soft. Rock a little bit side to side. You take a few twists of your choice. You can take the knees both together out to the side for a nice easy twist or just one leg at a time. Just spend a moment breathing here. Big inhales and long exhales. And we'll come back through the middle. Exhaling over to the other side. Right back through the middle. You can take that a few side or a few times on each side if you'd like. If you want to rock a little bit up and down your spine. If you are listening to our soundtrack and it just came to a very obnoxious song, skip it. <laughs> and we'll come right back down. So from here, we're gonna take a few little versions. So you can start with um, a nice little easy going bridge pose like we've been taking the last couple of days. And you can bring a block up underneath the butt here. And by butt, I mean really the, the tailbone, the like hip um, bones right here. You can just bring it up underneath, maybe just soften open through your chest here. If you'd like to take a happy baby or do something else like that right now instead, to get yourself ready, you can absolutely go for that. And we've got a few other options. You can take legs up the wall from here, which is just sending your legs straight up into the sky with the block up underneath. And if the lower back's a little tender, I would suggest taking this down about another level and just bringing the legs up just helps support the legs. You can also go directly up against the wall and just let the legs actually rest against the wall. And if you have a wall nearby, especially since we're at home, I would highly recommend this. Um, it really lets everything like truly soften out in the backs of the thighs. So rest here for a few moments. Just really breathing, We're letting the blood rush back down toward the heart and the head. Bring it back into those vital parts of our bodies. The feet get tired, legs get tired, you can kind of switch up the feet. 
different stretches, maybe roll on the ankles. If this is not quite enough, you can go ahead and move this into a full shoulder stand. So you can start here in a plow pose, setting the toes overhead, starting to stack the hips up over the shoulders. Hands can stay down on the mat. You can kind of pedal through the legs here. The hands come up to the lower back. We'll bring elbows nice and close together. We'll inhale, just lift from the back of one thigh. You're ready. Inhale up from the back of the other thigh. And bringing it back down. Then we'll take both legs when you're ready. Pressing right up toward the ceiling. Nice little lift from the back of the thighs. Hands coming maybe a little bit higher up the back if you like. Especially if you're winding down your evening right now. This is a great way to end. You don't have to stay still in the legs if you don't want to. Just breathe in here. Maybe it feels nice to take the legs out to the sides. Kind of roll around. You can take a little eagle wrap with the right leg coming around on top of the left leg. Maybe twist it to the left and twist it to the right. This is really nice. Maybe play around here. And then we'll take the opposite leg up on top, twisting it a bit side to side. That shoulder stand is really good for calm, uh, like combating imbalances in the system. It's good for just like relaxing out a little bit. Jane does this little. Send the feet down to the behind. I'm going to bring a blanket back behind as well. So you can roll this up, you can lay it on top, kind of just whatever works for you here. So I'm going to bring this kind of right to my hip crease, top of my hips. You see my waist crease and tops of hips. I'm just going to lay back nice and gentle. Let the arms open out to the sides. The head might be dropping back. You can also bring another something else underneath the head if that's uncomfortable. Otherwise, just let the feet flop out to the sides. Maybe wiggle a bit side to side in the hips. Ah, take a nice exhale. Really let it all go. We're just going to breathe here together quietly for a few moments. your breath start to move really naturally in and out of your body. If you're holding tension in your face or your shoulders or your chest, back, hips, whatever. Let it all go. Just take a few extra breaths into that space. Exhale, release back out. As you breathe, inhaling healing and balance and peace. Exhale, anxiety, bondage, the feeling of being trapped. Inhale, light and love. Exhale, that which does not serve us. If you have any other mantras you'd like to use at this point, I encourage it. Just breathing for a few more moments.
could rest here even longer if you'd like. If you'd like to start deepening your inhales. Lengthening your exhales once again. Maybe it starts to bring a little bit of motion into the body, into the fingers and toes. Reach your hands overhead for a full body stretch. Whatever your arm, just roll off toward the left side and just come right off those pillows, those blankets. Just rest here for a moment. Another few breaths. You're ready, we'll press into the hands. Come right back up to sit. We'll end things, just a few more breaths together. Again, maybe using your blanket or your pillow underneath your hips to make things feel a little bit cozier. You can keep your eyes closed the rest of the video if you'd like. Just letting your breaths lift you and lower you once again, really gently and easily. You don't have to change yourself for yoga. That's the whole thing. You can just really let your breath move you, let you move through these movements. You don't have to strike a pose or hit a pose. Just be you. Let's take a big round of breath all together. Exhale, sigh it out. Another big breath, inhale, healing. Exhale, that which does not serve you. One more round of breath. Right back out. When you're ready, <sighs> blink open your eyes. You are done. Namaste, my friends. Thanks to everyone who joined me for this video. I'm not sure who we've got here. I see someone else joined, but I'd already started the video. Oh, it's my cousin Heather. Hello, Heather. Thank you for joining in. This is Heather's first yoga class with us. So this is awesome. I like Paul's, it can go viral instant star. Don't talk about viral right now. Just kidding. Talk about whatever you want. Um, how's everyone feeling? Good, I hope. I really miss you guys. I really wish we could do this in person, but I'm really glad we're still continuing. Hi, Eden. Yay, I'm glad you're here. This is awesome. This is so cool. Cool. Well, everyone, please take care of yourselves. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, Lucy. Um, take your vitamin C. Take all your vitamins. Eat healthy. Go on walks. <laughs> You're welcome, Paul. <laughs> um, rest a lot. Read books. Make art. Make music. Do... Yeah, equal pose and shoulder stand. <laughs> it's a good one. It's really good for your digestion. Um... Yeah, any digestive aids or immunity um, supplements that you know of? Yeah, olive leaf extract is awesome. Um, uh, what's another one? Uh, just lost it. I want to say coriander. Um, that's cilantro. It's not the same thing. Olive leaf is great. Um, elderberry is great. If you've got your mushroom supplements, take your mushroom supplements. Also, eat mushrooms. Lomatium. That's it, Eden. We've been selling a lot of that at work, too. Silomatium is awesome. Um, zinc is great right now too. Quercetin. These are great. Yeah, really, any any vitamins are not going to hurt you right now. So, um, I'm also in a job where I talk about vitamins all day. So, <laughs> it's kind of wonderful. I really enjoy it. I'm learning all sorts of things. Um, B vitamins are really good for anxiety and stress levels as well as uh, probiotics are really good for your gut and helping like lower anxiety and lower stress. So, um, onions, yeah, onions are great. So 
Yeah, you guys are, you guys know what you're doing. This is, I'm pre preaching to the choir once again with this group. You guys are really wonderful. Uh, go eat dinner if you haven't already. Uh, I'm about to go do that. And I mean, you can drop me a message on YouTube. You can message me on Instagram. You can send me a text. Um, if you have any questions or you want to talk or um, if there's anything that you need a yoga pose for, just hit me up. Let me know. I miss you too, Eden. It really is really stinks not seeing you guys. Um, but if anyone's getting out safely and needs to pick up any vitamins, I'm working through Sunday. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Have a safe night. Enjoy your time uh, in California, Lucy, while you're still there. Heather Feather, I hope you're doing all right. Yeah, Eden, I'm really glad to be here on YouTube. This is really incredible. I'm really grateful for this platform, but I shall sign off. Thank you. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. I love you and I will see you very soon. Oh, we'll be next, uh, back next week, Monday at 6 15 PM, Tuesday at 7 15 PM and Thursday at 7 15 PM. So regular classes will have energized on Monday, strong on Tuesday, uh, relax on Thursday. Um, so next class is on Tuesday. Um, if y'all, I'm, I'm working full time now again, so I'm working, uh, Wednesday through Sunday, but if you have any special requests or you're needing any like particular classes, if also right now, what isn't really working for you is like the strong classes, maybe you need more like a relaxed sort of session. Let's just talk about it. Let's see what everyone needs right now. And I will hear from you soon. I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.